Welcome. We are going to be learning how to make an animated banner and we want to start in Google Slides. So go ahead and open up a blank Google Slides document and we need to change the size of our slides. So go to File, Page Setup, and we want to change it to a custom size and we're going to use 16.67 by 4.17. And there are other dimensions out there that work fine, um, but this one has worked for us all the time. So we're gonna use that today. Click apply. And there you go. That is the size of a banner. So you can go ahead and start working on your background. And we're not going to go over that in this video because we have other videos for that. You can go to our video called Bitmoji Classroom or Bitmoji Class Photo and all the directions are there. But we're gonna focus today on making this animated banner. Since this is blank, since there's no Bitmoji on it yet, I know I'm going to be using a few slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here to the left. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate slide, or you could simply copy it and hit Control C and then hit Control V to keep pasting it. I'm just gonna keep pasting it. And I don't really know how many scenes I'm gonna make, but I'm just gonna make as many as I want right now. And then if I don't use it, I could always delete it, but that's just kind of a time saver for me so that I don't keep um, making one and trying to duplicate it, having to delete things, etc., etc. So shortcut is to just make a few. And if you want more, you can add more later, or if you don't need them, you can delete them. Anyways, okay, so now let's go back to one. Since they all look the same, make sure that the proper one is highlighted. So let's go back to the first one. And I'm just gonna pick a Bitmoji here using my Bitmoji extension up here. And I'm just gonna pick some random ones. Um, I kind of like one that I used recently. This one's kind of fun. So you could click it and you can drag it or you could right click, copy, and then paste. But I'm just gonna drag it. I'm gonna drag it in and see how that looks. There I am. I'm kind of big for this class, but you know what? I, I don't wanna resize all of them. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave myself um, in this size. So maybe I'll put myself all the way over here. So before you even begin, maybe you kind of want to think what you want to do. Do you want to be jumping across the room? Um, are there certain poses that you like? Um, I think I'm going to make myself run and then maybe jump. That would be a fun one. So that's my first one. I'm going to go to the next one now. And maybe I'm going to find one where I am running. So let's see. Run. Oh, this one's a good one. So I'm gonna drag that over. And so I'm gonna kind of look to the left to see where that Bitmoji was. And I was all the way to the left. So I don't wanna be all the way here. I wanna actually look like it's animated. So I'm gonna go kind of close to where I was. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one. And I want the same one because I want it to look like it's actually running. So I'm going to take that exact same one that I just used. And I'm just gonna move it a little bit so that it looks like I'm actually moving across the screen. Um, I'm looking to my left. If you could see right here, you can kind of see the comparison um, of the different slides to see where you are. So uh, I think that one's pretty good. And uh, maybe my next one. So I'm going to go to slide four. Maybe I want this one to be jumping. So let's see if there's one called jump. Okay, I could be, <laughs> I could be riding sheep. I guess. Um, let me see. I like to type in the word pose because it shows me ones without any words. This one looks pretty good. Maybe this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And again, I look to the left to see how it is compared to the other slides before. And I want to jump like in the air. So I'm going to jump really high like that. And then on the next one, I saw one that was kind of jogging. So I'm going to, I think it was under pose. So I'm gonna hit pose. And this video is already longer than I wanted it to be, so I am sorry. <laughs> You're kind of jogging now to get to my desk. So on this side, I wanted myself sitting down. So I'm gonna kind of find one that's sitting. I saw one that I already found, but maybe, um, I kind of wanted a more fun one because I want it to be on my desk. So um, let me go back to pose and see. Oh, here's a good one. So I can actually, <laughs> I can be on top of my desk like this. I'm gonna look at the slides and see how they go. So I'm just gonna click on them. Let's see. I look like I'm late. I'm jumping, I'm jogging. <laughs> That one's kind of fun. Okay, so I think that's enough. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the other slides that I'm not using. I just click on it and I hit delete, delete, 
delete. So now you're not actually going to be able to click on it when people look at it. You want it animated. So what we need is we need an add-on called Creator Studio. So we're going to go to add-ons, get add-on, and it is called Creator Studio. There it is. Here it is. Click on it. Install. Continue. This is the one I want it to go to. I will agree because I've already used this before on another account. And done. Perfect. So now that I've installed it, you don't have to install it again if you want to create more things later. But I can go ahead and go to add-ons, creator studio, open it, and wait patiently for it to open. So here we go. Here are the settings that I actually want as a banner. So I'm going to change that 300 to 1600. Okay. And then I want the slides to go through quickly so it actually looks animated. So I'm going to change the two into a 0.5. Scroll down. I wanted an animated GIF or GIF. Click go. So once it is done, what it actually did was create a folder in your drive called Creator Studio. So I am in my drive in my Creator Studio folder. So here is my GIF that was created. So go ahead and click on it. Let's see what it looks like. I think it's great. So there it is. I just made an animated banner. And so on another video, we'll be showing you how to insert this into your different LMS or any other platform that you want to use it in. But I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it useful. Have fun.